Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode 11 of So I'm a Spider So What. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, what you oh Okay. So now it makes you wonder what the heck she looks like, you know, when a human sees her. And such I mean, I mean she you know yeah. Mm-hmm. Cause look at her. I, I do <laughs> Okay. <laughs> the child got too fucking big, even though someone's like, no, it's still the same size! Yeah! A child looked too damn big. She could probably fit through my door. My window. She could probably get into the car. Of course she would be training. So then, hold up. All right. You telling me also freaking Wakaba has been asleep for a month as well? Okay. Okay. Of course, everyone usually is. Hmm. Hmm? Yeah, I mean, that would be good. But it seems like she's okay with that. Yeah, it should be like your trump card. That's it. I mean, yeah, you don't look any different. You just look 
the same. I thought she would have, like, a mark on her. You know how, um, like, Raftalia has a mark on her? Was was that supposed to happen? Oh. Yeah. That wish thing also popped up. <laughs> oh, poor baby. Mm. <laughs> you know, babe. Exactly. Ah, no. Well, what is it? Oh. <laughs> well, you know, you found him. Oh. So, um, yeah, 
I mean, he is just. Oh, damn. I'm just, you know, I'm wondering how the fuck you gonna kill that thing. That that that's a big question. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Unless you make like a weird deal with it and don't kill it, but mm. What happened out there? Did you run? Oh. But he gave it to you? Yeah. It's not your fault. Mm hmm. How should you should know since you played Baby Boy Hacker? <laughs> She pretty. She gonna speak. Oh, okay, never mind. She was just like, fuck it, we're gonna kill. And Julius was dead. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me.
The fact that this damn spider just punched a damn frog in the gut and, like, the freaking frog. What the hell? And good as new. Are you seriously going to take them on at the same time? Yes, because that's what we want. You need to get the heck up out of here. We've been in this place too long. Oh no, they're hornets. That's even worse. Supposed to be now mission impossible. <laughs> They're all just going to sneak up on her, aren't they? Jesus Christ, Walker, but <laughs> see, that's a little bit easier.
I mean, is there a way to make, like, it go faster, maybe? And then you also need to think about when you run out of MP and what the fuck that's going to do, because after that you're screwed. so creepy in her shadow like that oh my god <laughs> oh big boss There's more. Uh, see, that couldn't be me. He takes some spray and then some uh, lighter. Woo! Oh, it's coming. You know what would be really messed up? Let's say next week. We don't even get to see this fight. We just, you know, we get to the end game of it and she's defeated it. And then you're just sitting here like, are you kidding me? Like, <laughs> I would like to see how she did, how she was able to maneuver out of this situation, that situation, this is that, the third, and everything else. But, oh, excuse me, sorry. Um, we ain't really gonna know until next Friday. Okay, Shun. My baby Shun. Alright, so I love the fact that he doesn't really immediately want to compare himself. Because uh, at first he was, in a way. He wants to be very, like, a 100% replica of Julius. But at the same time, now, he's like, I want to use a little bit what... Um almost he's taught him but make it his own in a way so he's still becoming his own person instead of becoming like a big old replica of someone else because this ain't the first anime that I've seen that has done that where it's like at first the main character is like I want to be just like this character to the point where well, I'll, I'll compare it to one one of my favorite idol animes where she literally dressed her from head to toe her hair her freaking um her ribbon, everything. She looked 100% identical 
to this other character except the one thing that you could tell was the difference was because of their hair the main character of season one had blonde hair and our current main character from season three had brownish hair but eventually she was able to take the lessons that she got from the character she idolized um um yeah idolized for such a long time and make it into her own to finally become her own person and such the fact that what's his face did survive this also indicates that yes he's going to get a second chance which is interesting i do like the fact that he is going to get it i mm, now with Sue's and what's her face like are they now going to be like secondary characters or supporting characters in this show now because He's officially going to have a group on his own to go out and fight battles and especially, you know, de defeat the demon lord and shit like that. So, is everybody at this school now? I mean, because, like, you, I'm thinking it was going to continue right after last week's episode. Just, like, right where the point where he screamed and everything. No, we go a month later. I, I mean, like, I have no problem with that. But it, it was like, okay, well, what the fuck did you do for that month? Did you train? And it seemed like he did. And then you have Faye, who's now officially evolving. So now you want to know what the heck she's going to look like the next time when we see her and such. And I get the fact is, I'm glad that they, you know, made a pack because they needed to do something. It, it would have been weird if he would have left her there and she's just there the whole entire time doing nothing. So now anytime if he really truly needs her, um, she'll be there like a trump card. Something that he has when he needs only if he's in like a dire necessary um, situation like a summon from like Final Fantasy or Kingdom Hearts or whatever and such. That one little, what, semi-OP move that like you can use multiple times and such just to get like, you know, your final little uh, hits in before you defeat the enemy and shit like that. But I don't know. I mean, I I'm, ca I'm ready now to see Shin go at least against one of these other bad guys, maybe. And then, you know, Wakaba. We, we don't even need to talk about Wakaba because this this girl, this damn spider, I, I can't with her. I'm just hoping still, once she gets out of this damn cave, even though she still has, like, two other things to go against, not counting the arrow because, you know, she's about to go against it now. And if she truly wants to, yes, to get some more, you know, level up-ish because we all like when we level up, that's the best thing in the world. But who knows? We just got to... I'm just wondering what else she's going to do before she says, okay, I'm ready to get out of the cave. Because some people, I think someone told me, it might be a while until she gets out. We're now on episode 11. I don't want it to be like 24 episodes where she's in the cave. Like, I, I do want her to be outside and get some sunshine or whatever. But I think once she goes outside and once people... um see her and once what's his face from last week sees her again and gets those memories or really um the ptsd again i think that's going to ignite his flight or flight um situation and possibly want to revenge everyone who died when she killed them and such because oof mm, okay but yeah <laughs> other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode 11 of so i'm a spider so what uh, if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially out next friday for episode 12 bye guys